You look at Australian hip hop where it started mm. um, and where it's at now, and it's not slowing down anytime mm. soon by the looks of it. You know, you got new acts popping up yeah. and, um, you know, really gaining some, some, some momentum. What's one thing or a main thing, if there is a main thing? Is there anything that you miss about local hip hop back in the days? And where do you think Australian hip hop will be, you know, 10, say 10, 15 mm. years from now? Uh, the one thing I, I, I do miss from back in the day, I, I mentioned it before, were those little hubs, those record stores, you know, where you could maybe it meant more, a lot more to me too because I was from Canberra and then when I went to these places and heard, and saw people I had heard about or people, you know, like it wasn't even only rappers and DJs, like writers as well. Graffiti writers would go there, buy paint and go, oh, that's so-and-so from so-and-so crew. And you're like, oh, shit, really? Um, yeah, I just felt that was really important for the development of not only that city but the country as well. Um, you know, that. I, I really do miss that, you know. I, but I'm never one to be like, oh, man, things were better back in the day. And, you know, I've always rolled with what's happening and embraced technology and 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 come to a realisation that, you know, we can't always live in 1992, 3, 4, whatever, you know. There were great times, but you move on. But that particular thing of having a hub was is, you know, sticks out in my mind. And as far as where it's going to be, yeah, it kind of it kind of does feel like it, it's unstoppable at the moment, you know. Especially like people touring overseas, um, not only like Bliss and Essos and that, but you know, smaller acts as well, and um, people just coming in and, and making a lot of noise. Um, I don't know it's it's interesting because you know for a moment there, ska, you know, like the reggae sort of offshoot was really big in Australia, you know, and for a while then, then it just kind of just died well in the public eye died you know obviously it's still an underground scene so it, it, it will be interesting I, I definitely didn't f I knew it was going to be big but I didn't realise it was going to be like where it is now um, so whether the balloon will pop or not you know it doesn't really matter because there's always going to be s some good hip hop music made here who do you think is on the cusp like who, you know, like obviously you've got your, your 60s and your yeah. woods and, and, and guys of those. Who do you think's um, on the cusp to maybe join that pack? Like next draft or something like that. Um, I don't know. I guess all day is kind of already there. He's like, his following is like crazy. That's another guy that kind of took advantage of the internet. You know, he didn't really get much play till a bit later, you know, but he's doing really well. Um... Hmm. It's, it's hard to say. Um, I guess kind of harsh is already there as well. Um, I'm not too sure, but I do know there's a couple of guys that haven't yet made an album yet that I feel are going to be... There's a one guy in, in Canberra, actually, not being biased or anything, but he's a young dude and, and he... I heard some of his songs and it just feels like, man, this guy has has it already sussed out. You know, you know when you hear someone, yeah. you're like, yeah, they've already got it, the X factor. So I can't, his name's LTC, and I think, yeah, you you'll hear a lot of him in, within the next couple of years. The, 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 the last